All right, YouTubers. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to uh, tell you guys whether you need to do your BIOS update before installing your Intel CPU. Now, Intel's made this uh, somewhat complex, but not, you know, not too ridiculously complex that you won't be able to understand it. And I hope, I hope this here slide uh, that I made will help you guys understand it. Now, we're talking about Intel 12th, 13th, 14th gen CPUs. What were the compatible motherboards, um, you know, considering that you have a, the correct BIOS installed? They would be H610, B660, H670, Z690, B760, H770, Z790. All right, so... As basically, uh, what, seven motherboards plus all the variations of it. But we're keeping this a little simpler, right? Um, you'll see different letters and things after that that uh, may tell you what size the motherboard is, etc. So, now, some of these motherboards have um, just kind of uh, basic features. Some of them have a little better features as far as, you know, uh, tinkering around and upgrades go, right? So the better ones are going to have what's called a BIOS flashback button. Now, uh, what is that? Well, I've got two pictures here. This is your uh, basically a, a gigabyte Eris motherboard. It'll have the BIOS flashback button on the motherboard. MSI has it near where the I.O. shield goes. So what does this mean? Well, when you're doing a BIOS update with these, um, for the most part, you can either have a CPU installed, graphics card, you know, basically everything installed, or you can do the BIOS update without the CPU, without the graphics card, without RAM installed. All right. Where is the benefit to this? Well, um, the benefit is if you're buying a one of the newest CPUs, which would be 14th gen, and you have one of these older motherboards, say a uh, Gigabyte Z790UD, um, and it has the BIOS flashback button, you can do a BIOS update uh, just by using this button, a USB drive, and a quite a few other steps. Um, it's not necessarily that simple, but... Uh, the benefit of this one is I do not need to buy a older CPU to do the BIOS update. All right. So you see, I've, I've created all of these different, uh, notes. Um, and so let's look at those first and then go into the table. So one asterisk here buy cheapest CPU, such as a 12th gen Celeron or Pentium to do the BIOS update. All right. This is something, I recommended quite a bit when um, the good old 13th gen came out and people wanted to use their 12th gen uh, or wanted to use 600 series motherboards. Double asterisk note here, can be updated with or without a CPU installed. All right, so um, how come that one doesn't correspond with any of these? Well, it does. Uh, it's just that I ended up using one of the other notes instead. And that, where that actually would go, folks, is right up here. All right. Put that note there. So that covers everything in that column. Triple asterisk note. If you're buying this motherboard new, it may have a BIOS updated that supports 13th gen, but not 14th gen. Now... Today's October 19, 2023. Six months from now, this is probably another story. Uh, you will see some BIOSes come out that will be uh, capable of running 14th gen, all right? So this video kind of has a, uh, a shelf life in some aspects. All right, um, if you're buying a used motherboard, it may or may not have a BIOS update uh, that would run anything better than, say, 12th gen. So if you bought a used H610, B660, H670, Z690, let's say you bought it off eBay, 
Um, that individual may have never updated the BIOS, and you may have a first-generation BIOS. What does that mean? Well, it's not going to run anything but 12th gen, and it may not actually run the i9-12900KS. Um, it definitely won't run 13th, and it won't run 14th. All right. Asterisk note uh, four here. You will either be able to flash BIOS with or without CPU installed. That CPU can be a 14th gen. So, um, yeah, that one goes in only one spot here. All right, so let's look at this. You want to buy an i3-12100. Um, if you decide to buy any of these motherboards here, basically any of the ones listed, you will not have to do a BIOS update before installing. All right, so that's good news. Now, after the fact is another story, but this video we're only talking about before installing your Intel CPU. All right. The i9-12900KS. Now, depending on when you bought this 600 series motherboard, uh, I put maybe next to it, okay? And it looks like I, in typical fashion, when you run through these folks, sometimes you find these mistakes. Okay, so the i9-12900KS, um, you know, if you're buying this motherboard new and it's one of these, then, you know, most likely it's going to support 13th gen. Um, or excuse me, most likely it will support the i9-12900KS. If you bought it used, then, uh, you know, you're probably going to have to do a BIOS update before you can put the i9-12900KS in there. Uh, and that may mean, folks, at least for this guy, I might as well just do this correctly, that you may have to do um, install a uh, 12th gen Celeron or Pentium or something, you know, in the 12th gen uh, category besides the i9-12900KS. This was like one of the last 12th gens that came out, all right? And it required an update. Now, if you have the BIOS flashback, um, yeah, you're going to need to do the update, but you could either do it with or without the CPU installed, all right? Hopefully that makes sense. The 700 series... Motherboards, they support this 12th gen, all right? So you're good there. i3-13100, all right? Boom. Once again, there's a maybe here. We'll put that same note. So, you know, why do I say maybe once again? Well, if you bought this uh, new, and depending on where you got it, it may or may not have an updated BIOS, all right? So... You may be stuck um, going back and buying, looking at this note here, you may need to buy like a 12th gen Celeron just to get it updated so that you can run this 13th gen CPU, all right? Over here, um, I put maybe once again, you know, if it's a newer, uh, newly manufactured one, probably has the updated BIOS, you're probably good there. Um, but you will not <clears throat> buying this one folks, because it's got the BIOS flashback button. You don't necessarily have to, um, buy, you, we're not going to have to buy a 12th gen CPU, right? You can do it with or without the 13th gen installed. All right. Any of these 700 series motherboards, this CPU is going to run. You do not need a BIOS update. And that's why I put, you know, I put those in green. Now, finally, we get to 14th gen, which is probably what most of you guys care about. So for these 600 series motherboards, um, this is a definite yes, okay? Only since June of 2023, and once again, today's October 19, 2023, have they been putting out motherboards with BIOS updates <clears throat> that support 14th gen. Now, most likely if you buy, if you're buying new one of these, it's not going to have the updated BIOS. Um, you may get lucky and find somebody that bought, is selling one used on eBay that updated the BIOS before selling, and you may be good. But most likely, folks, BIOS update required, okay? Now, we come over here to uh, the one with the BIOS flashback, you know, where this one, you needed to buy an older CPU. Um, in this case, 
you know, you're good, right? You still have to do the BIOS update, but you can do it with or without the CPU installed. And basically, same period, same story for 700 series. Um, these most likely are not shipping with the most updated BIOS, so you have to do the BIOS update. What does that mean? I need to find a cheaper CPU to do the BIOS update. And then if you have the BIOS flashback button, hey, um, you just need to do the update um, with or without the CPU installed. So hopefully that helped you guys. Um, please like, please subscribe. Thank you.